Following any information in this guide is at your own risk. We do not accept any responsibility for any work you decide to carry out. If you are not confident or competent, please consult or commission this mod to someone who is. Every kit is fully tested before it's shipped, and we offer no warranty on this kit unless it has been installed by a qualified technician. The risk of damage due to static, ungrounded soldering irons, reverse polarity, or out of tolerance power supplies in your console is real. You want to start with a working console. Don't attempt to recap while you install this screen as you'll have a hard time chasing down any faults you may introduce. Do the recap if you think your console needs it, then do the LCD mod once you have your system working again. If your LCD backlight is dim or dead, has missing pixels, or has lines through the screen, you can go ahead with this LCD upgrade. If you're missing one third of your image from left to right, you may have a more significant issue which a new LCD may not fix. If you have no signs of life at all, but you can hear the game audio and the game responds to key inputs, there's a high chance this LCD mod will bring your links back to life. We'll start by opening the links. This is the third links one I've opened up, and this is a little different to the others. Um, the others don't have a metal shield here. This part is fixed to the rear housing. And there's no copper foil. We'll start by removing the battery wires. Remove the four screws holding the screen in. And we'll try to take the motherboard out. We'll start taking the LCD out. I've heard some modders uh, say just peel the ribbon back. Um, the first links I've modded I did that and I ripped a whole bunch of traces off. So I'd suggest doing it the right way uh, using a soldering iron. You can add a bit of flux to help transfer the heat, which makes things easier. Grab some tweezers. Looks a bit of double-sided tape holding this down. We'll peel that back. And now for the main ribbon. This is definitely different to the last links I've uh, modded. Might remove the speaker to make it a bit easier.
This small board here generates the high voltage for the old backlight. We won't be needing it. You can remove the whole thing, or you can just cut the input power to the board, which is marked V in. That is the only board modifying we need to do and we're ready to start installing the LCD screen. 8 of the 12 pads we'll be soldering to are located along here. They're quite small and if you've damaged some when you remove the LCD, the good news is uh, they pretty much repeat. So pins 3 to 20 are the same as pins 25 to 42, which are the same as 47 to 64. The exception are these clock lines here, which we'll be using one of each to go to A1, A2, A3 on our board. I'll be using 30 gauge wire wrapping wire. You can use whatever you've got on hand. Uh, I've used ribbon cable before. Rainbow cable's good. It helps you uh, identify which wires are going where. Everything being red makes it a bit trickier. And we'll remove some of this foam. It'll be very brittle and come away quite easily. Try to get rid of any dust and crumbs as they'll be there forever. We'll trim these two lower tabs here. Try not to mark the lens. You want to remove the screen protector before you do this. This will be coming apart again, so I'll leave it on for now. Place it right to the bottom. Place this just on top. You should click into the, the two pins that are remaining and hold the LCD nice and square. I've got a wiring diagram just in front of me off screen. I'll put a link to that on the product page. So we'll start with uh, ground. And ground will go right there. Next is 5 volts. We'll take that from just here. Next is the RES signal. We'll take that from this point right here. Next is CL2. And on this chart it will be pin 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, pin 9, or pad 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just straighten that out. Okay. Next, A3. A3 looks to be... Where's my cheat sheet? <coughs> A3 is pad 53, which should be this one here. A2. Thirty-seven, which should be this one here. A1 is 15, A2 
connect up the backlight wire, which goes to this pin here. And D3 goes to power to 17. will be this one here. Straighten that out. <laughs> D2, which is 19. D1, which is 16. And D0, which is 18. Instead, I think. And that should be everything. And we'll power it up. I'll be right back. Okay, it looks like we need to give these pads a bit of a clean. I'll just grab some alcohol. We might as well do them all while we're here. And to refresh the uh, conductive pads on the bottom you can use a bit of paper as sandpaper yeah. and just do small circles that should be enough Okay, and we'll try to seal it all back up. So with the brightness wheel, if you go far right then back left, it'll change the brightness level. If you stay far right, it'll switch between scan lines or no scan lines. And then go back left when you're happy with it. And that's pretty much it.